Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I would like to share a sweet treat recipe with you guys called mango mochi with mung beans filling. Let's get on with the preparation, shall we? Firstly, leave some mung beans to be soaked overnight in a bowl. On the next day, strain the water out from the mung beans through a sieve. Then transfer the mung beans into a bowl. Spread the mung beans out so it can be evenly cooked. Place a knotted pandan leaf with the mung beans. After that, it's ready to be steamed for 45 minutes to 1 hour until the beans are completely soft. In the meantime, let's make the mochi dough by mixing the glutinous rice flour, corn flour, and sugar in the mixing bowl. Then give everything a good thorough mix. Next, pour in the coconut milk, followed by the milk and mango puree. Give all the ingredients a good stir until everything is well incorporated. Once the batter is smooth and without any lumps, add in the melted unsalted butter. Continue to stir the batter until the butter is fully fitted in. When the consistency of the batter drips like this, then it's ready to be steamed. Carefully pour the batter into a steamer bowl. Then wrap a cling film over it and place it into a steamer. Let's check on our mung beans first. It should be ready by now. That's great. Carefully remove the cooked mung beans from the steamer. Now, let's steam our mochi dough for 40 minutes. Discard the pandan leaf and mash the mung beans up with a spatula. This process might take a while, but we will get there. You can use a food processor if it works easier for you guys. When the texture of the mung beans become like this, transfer them onto a pan.
spread the mung beans out and go in with the sugar and olive oil Gently stir all the ingredients until the sugar is fully dissolved When the sugar is fully melted and the texture becomes crumbly like this, transfer the mung beans onto a plate to let it cool down. Perfect! Our mochi dough is ready now. Carefully remove it from the steamer. Then peel the cling film off. After that, lightly knead the mochi dough with a spatula to avoid sticking onto your hands. Cover the dough with a cling film and let it cool down for 20 minutes. Now, let's remove the cling film from the dough, transfer onto a worktop and give the dough a little knead. Roll the dough out into a cylinder shape and then divide it into half. Cut the dough into 6 equal portions on each half. Then take each dough and fold it inwards to smoothen it out. Remember to place the dough apart to avoid sticking to each other. Next, flatten the dough out by pressing the sides with your fingers. Then place the filling in the middle. Seal the mochi dough by twisting it upwards while gently pressing the filling in with your thumb. Give it a good pinch when you get towards the top and ship it into a nice round sphere. Then coat it with cooked rice flour. Shake off the excess flour. Place our mango mochi on a cupcake case and it's ready to be served. Take each dough and flatten it out with your fingers. Scoop the mung bean filling in the middle. 
gently press it down then twist the dough upwards give it a good pinch when you get towards the top shape our mango mochi into a nice round sphere gently coat it with the rice flour Serve our mango mochi in a cupcake case. Guys, if you have enjoyed watching this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Until my next video, let me indulge myself in this yummy delicious mango mochi. Really nice and soft. The mung bean filling just crumbles in your mouth. Really delicious, guys. Bye-bye.